Okay, so today we have a an Audi key. The flip still works fine, sometimes that breaks, but the top pad has come off here and it's looking a bit sad. It still works actually. So what we're gonna do is we've got a repair case and uh, there's nothing inside this and we're gonna transfer it over. So you've seen these before. These are tried and tested uh, pliers, you, circuit pliers, you pull them in and it opens up, okay? And what we do is we pop these into here, give them a squeeze, and that has opened the key. So I pull it open, nice and easy, and there you go. So we've got the key open, and we're gonna have a look at Okay, all the bits, and we're gonna have a look at what you need to swap over. Okay, so we need to get this board out now, and it's quite tight to come out. If you just try and do it this way, the board doesn't wanna come out. I've had this out already, but so it's looser, but it's held in by two little, there's a little thing there, and a little thing there, and they're like plastic rivets. So it really is just a case of gently, without breaking it, getting in, and once it's up a bit, then kind of pull it out so that this um, doesn't hold it in. Okay, and as you can see under the key, it's a, a bit of a state. You've got like water's been in here and it's not very good. Okay, and this is the chip that is glass that will break if you're not careful. So we need to get this out and we need to put it into the new key. Now, on this key here, they've made it quite nice this because the chip is just being held in by two little plastic um, holders. I don't know if you can see that. There's no glue, there's nothing there. So with this key, you're lucky. You normally can't do this. If you just pop a screwdriver under there, it's just gonna come out. Oh, there you go, it's flying about. And that's the chip, that's fine. Now you need to be careful because normally, normally with this, there's a whole load of glue and everything. So you just need to be a bit careful, but not in this key. Okay, so this is a repair case. First thing you need to do is take the battery cover off, off here. And you do that by poking, there's a little tab there. And let me just show you. You can just see it there. Okay, so give that a poke. You can just see that coming up there. And once you've got that tab out, then you put a screwdriver at the other end and that comes off. No problem at all. And then to undo this case, they'll probably all be different, but you've got one screwdriver, uh, one screw here. So just get your screwdriver on, undo it. Okay, that's that undone now. Okay, and then you need to pop these screws in here. These need to come apart. And once that's done, that'll all come apart then. Okay, so that's our repair case apart now. Okay, so now as we talked about, this is the old blade and this is the new blade. And we say this every time that in a perfect world, you'll knock out the pin out of here, take this blade out and put it into here and it'll slide in there. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. We're not gonna bother trying because we can cut the blades. But um, if you do try and take that out and put it into there, you might have to modify the end uh, or get the key cut. Okay, so there's a difference between the, um, the genuine key has a little holder there that we showed you that holds the chip in place, but the replacement one doesn't have one of these. Oh, it doesn't have one so that the chip can just kind of slide about. And if it slides about and gets out of position, the car won't start. So you need to glue this chip into place so it doesn't move. Okay, so we've stuck a bit of two part um, glue we're using there and we're going to move this into place now normally we'd leave this earlier like the generation game we'd leave it and not touch it for ages but because we're making a video we know that that's going to 
go off fine. Okay, so now we're going to carry on and put the key back together. Okay, so next thing is put the uh, circuit board on top. That's all tucked away. Then we're going to put the key piece back together, the blade. So that's going to go through there. It'll only go one way. It needs to poke through and then you know it's in the right place. Then the spring goes in. Okay. And we are going to put it back together. So this spike here needs to go on the spring. And now, now remember, you want it to flick out that way like that. So you need to wind it the other way, give it a couple of turns. All right. So that's why we've got that now. That's good. Okay, next thing is we're going to close the case. So just line all that up top. And it's a little bit tricky. There we go. That's better. Okay, so we've got the two halves of the key together now. Put a screw in to keep it together. So let's find the screw. Okay. So we want to screw that up. Okay. And now you can see that flips fine. And then we want to do up the other two screws the other end. Okay, and the last thing is to pop a battery in and see if it works. Okay, so we've got a 2032 battery. I'm going to pop in there. Okay, and then we're going to pop the battery to cover shut. Okay, and then hopefully we see that it transmits a signal. And so there you go. There, all you need to do there is get the uh, keyblade cut using your old key, and with a three-button Audi key, you are good to go.